Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom menus on your WordPress powered site. Now, thankfully, WordPress makes this really easy to do. And the first you need to do is to head over to the WordPress menu editor by hovering over appearance on the right hand side and then clicking on menus. It's gonna take you to the WordPress menu creator. Now here you've got a number of different options and you can completely control the look and feel of the menu displaying on your WordPress powered site. You're gonna see you've got two tabs here. You've got edit menus, which allows you to edit the content of the menu. And then we've got manage locations, which will allow you to manage where the menu is displaying on your site. You're going to be able to either edit a menu you've already created, or you can click here to create a new menu. So I'm gonna create a new menu here, and um, you just need to click create a new menu in order to do that. First thing you need to do is give your menu a name. So I'm going to call this uh, main navigation and then click create menu. Now I can add the content I want to add to the menu and I can just customize what I want to display on the main navigation of my site. You're gonna see we've got a number of boxes here that display the uh, different options for the different content you can add. First we've got pages and if you set that to view all then you're gonna be able to add the home page to start off with. And I'm also just gonna add a blog and contact and just click add to menu in order to add those items to my navigation. Now with the WooCommerce plugin installed as I've got on my site, I've also got products as well as product categories, product tags and WooCommerce endpoints. Um, these allow me to add WooCommerce specific items to my menu. But I'm just gonna skip over these here and head straight for categories. Now, if I just click view all again, I can see all of the categories that I have got on my site. I'm just gonna add a couple of these to the menu. So I'll go for breaking business, um, I'll have general and uh, tech as well. And I'm just gonna click add to menu on those. And we can see that that's gonna add those to the menu as well. Finally, I've got custom links and just clicking on this one is going to uh, expand this box, which allows you to add your own URLs. So this isn't uh, URLs that are connected to your site. This can be anything. So here I'm just gonna add in mythemeshop.com and put the text my theme shop in here and just click add to menu as well. So now I can see I've got a lot of uh, items on my menu. And if I just click save menu and then head over to manage locations, I can then choose where to display the menu. So uh, this is our main navigation menu. And I can see this is the old menu we had. Um, so here I can just click main navigation and click save changes. And now if I head over to my site and just refresh this, I'm gonna see that we've got the uh, menu that I've just created displaying along there. But there's a lot more you can do though. If we just head back to edit menus, um, then on our main navigation, we can actually customize this a lot more. You can change the order of any of the menu items just by dragging and dropping. So if I wanted to have the tech category displaying uh, further up the page, then I would just need to drag and drop in order to move that around. If I wanted to have uh, my theme shop further up, and again, it's just a case of dragging and dropping. You can also create submenus just by uh, indenting the uh, item you want to have as a submenu below what you want to have it as a submenu. So uh, if I put all of my categories underneath blog, for example, I can just drag and drop and uh, drop these into subcategories here. So that would be a sub subcategory there. Um, and we'll just drop this one in here as well. And uh, we'll have general in there as well. You can have multiple subcategories. So uh, we could have breaking as a subcategory of tech, which itself is a subcategory of blog. Um, and as well, you can always move those around. If you want to customize any of these further, you can just expand them in order to uh, change the navigation label. So if we wanted to change the text that displays on the navigation, that's what we're going to do here. So the navigation label, I could uh, perhaps add an exclamation mark there. You also have the option to add an icon here. So uh, I'll just add in a icon there. You can even set the color as well. Um, now this isn't gonna be available on all themes, but if you do have the option in your theme to do that, then here is where you're going to find that. You can just close that once you're done making any of the changes and repeat that in order to make those changes again. So if we wanted to add uh, 
um, perhaps some sort of money icon. And we could do that just by searching there and selecting the icon that we want to add. Once you're done making any changes, you want to click Save Menu, and those changes are going to be immediately made to your site. So if we just refresh again, then we're going to see that now we've got a blog with an exclamation mark with the icon as well. And you see we've got this subcategory displaying here, as well as that icon on business. And we've still got those two other menu items as well. And you can see that this is really easy to use. Um, it's just a case of dragging and dropping the menu to get it to display how you want it. Just one more thing to show you on this screen, which is the menu settings. Um, you can automatically add top level pages. So that's pages which don't have any parent pages. Um, you can automatically add those to your menu just by ticking this box. And you can also choose the uh, location uh, without heading to the manage locations page. But it's easier just to do it there, just to make sure you know what you're getting. As always, once you've made any changes, you want to save the menu. And if you need to switch between multiple menus, if your theme has multiple menu locations, you can do that just by selecting a different menu to edit. You can also delete the menu down here, and uh, you can add new items to your page at any time. One final option is to manage the uh, menus in the th WordPress theme customizer, and you can do that just by pressing manage in customizer. What this is going to be able to do is allow you to manage any of your menus from the WordPress theme customizer with a live preview. So here you can see you've got the menus that you have created. So I have main navigation as well as menu one that I had originally. So I can drop into main navigation. I can see that's currently set to this menu along here. And um, here I can just change any of these items in uh, real time. And I'm gonna see those changes previewed immediately. So if I swap those around, we're gonna see that immediately displaying. If I drag and drop this whole section, then we're gonna see a preview of that. Um, and you can also add items just by pressing add items. And you'll see you've got those same options as before. So if I wanted to add a wish list, for example, I just need to press that, close add items, and I can see I've got a wish list added. And this is a live preview. And to make those changes saved onto your site, just need to click save and publish in order to do that. To close the customizer, you just need to press that X and you're gonna be taken back to the navigation screen. So that's just a quick overview of how to add custom menus to your WordPress powered site. If you've got any queries, don't hesitate to contact us at community.mythemeshop.com. And thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.